Oh, hey there. Glad you stopped by. You just caught me busy unpacking my cool new BPK 409 wearables uh, hardware kit. Uh, I'm excited to get started with it. Uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself as a way of introduction into the course, and uh, you're not going to see a lot of me this year. I am um, uh, the chair of a BPK department and a uh, researcher in the department that studies how humans and other animals walk and run, a professor, and also one of the co-developers of this course, along with Patrick and Jim. And uh, while you won't be seeing a lot of me in person, a lot of my ideas underpin uh, the labs you're going to do and the lectures you're going to learn about. And so I want to tell you a little bit about my background <clears throat> and why I'm super excited about this course. So I uh, have a, a long history now of doing research into um, biomechanics and neuroscience. And that research has traditionally been involving rather uh, expensive equipment done in a lab setting uh, with a small number of individuals and uh, making quite precise detailed measurements. But over the course of my career, what's become possible is to use uh, rather inexpensive hardware that you can uh, use ubiquitously and perpetually to study how a large number of individuals uh, move and their physiology and other aspects of their life. And uh, that's what this course is about, is to give you some of that training. And I've used those ideas in the course of basic research to study uh, some of the questions we have outside of the lab in a uh, outdoor environment, even around our SFU campus, uh, but also to as part of um, the companies I've spun out of SFU. One of them is an exoskeleton company, and in that case, we used accelerometers and other other uh, wearable sensors to figure out where people are in their gait cycle and their walking cycle to know when to try and harvest energy from the body. A second company I spun out, that company was called Bionic Power. The second company is called Control Freak. And this is definitely a wearables company that uses sensors on your phones to figure out how fast you're running and your step frequency, and then use them to control via music how fast you're running and uh, um, other acid, and even how, what your, what your heart rate is. Uh, so those are my personal applied applications of wearable technology. But I've also been part of other, uh, other people doing applications. So I was a scientific advisor for Nike as part of their scientific advisory board for, for a few years. I've worked with a company called Boston Dynamics, which you may know of for their incredible legged robots. But in, in our case, we were building a powered exoskeleton that used, one of the things they used was wearable technology. Uh, and um, I've worked with, uh, um, Stanford is part of their NIH Center of Excellence on wearable computing to help figure out uh, uh, what the best course, the best future is for wearable technology. And uh, in the course of that research, um, I've and experiences I've come to learn what I think is important. And one of the most important things is that we have uh, scientists that really understand physiology and that can speak the language of wearable technology to engineers and computer scientists. Uh, to help them understand how to sense the things you really want to sense from the body, how to control the things you really want to control from the body. And so for that reason, I'm excited that you guys, which are primarily our physiologists in BPK, are getting this experience hands-on using hardware and software to study the human body from the comforts of your own home. So that's me, and uh, you might see a video or two more of me, but uh, that's about it. Um, good luck with the semester, and uh, have fun.